So this is the brand new Insta360 ONE X2. And to help me test this out, we have professional roller skater, Appaloosa. I could totally do that. So how'd you get into roller skating? So my grandfather opened Northridge Skateland in the San Fernando Valley in 1968. And my parents and aunts and uncles were all artistic skaters, competitive and certified coaches. So I grew up competing. I became world champion in synchronized skating. Then I've been coaching for about 20 years. You said roller skates are kind of hard to find right now, They're right? They're pretty much sold out across the U.S. as far as I've heard. It's really hard to get a pair of skates Well, right that's now. great. How am I supposed to get my roller skates now? <laughs> I need to start practicing. Oh, yeah. Do you have a favorite project that you worked on? Working on Chet Faker's gold music video was definitely a highlight because it was just the style that Hero Mirai, the director, and Ryan Heffington, the choreographer, put together. And just being a part of that was a really special project. That's awesome. Do you know how many views that music video has? Over 210 million? Over oh 200 <laughs> million. We're gonna up that music video today yes. with an Insta 361 X review. I'm not sad, okay? I'm maybe a little bit jealous that that music video got more views than all my videos combined ever. All right, so have you ever shot with a 360 camera before? No. Okay, so basically how this works is there's two ultra wide angle cameras, one on each side. Each one shoots a over 180 degree angle. So if I hit record right now, basically everything around it is being recorded. Even if you try to hide from the corners, you might get a little stitch line, which might warp your face a little bit because it's basically trying to take two images and stitch it together. So you kind of want to avoid filming things right here on the stitch line, but generally, if you have it out here, every single thing that you can see in the area is being captured with this camera. So you wanna give it a shot? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. Wanna see? Yeah. All right, so what's cool about this is that we can just literally pull up the footage right away. You basically just treat this phone as if it was a camera. This is called Little Planet, yeah. where it looks like we're on a tiny little yeah, planet. Yeah. So when you're holding and running around with this, yeah. you're capturing it, but you're really the camera operator yeah. right here on the phone. All right, so now what we're gonna do is try this effect called bullet time. So it's gonna be kind of like the matrix. It's like a little extendy. I think this gets attached like that. Probably should have read the manual, but I'm just gonna assume that you just Swing it around like that, it might fly off and break. So do you think you can skate while doing this? We are gonna give it a go. If anyone can do it, it's you or Sam maybe. <laughs> Bullet time, all right. The original bullet time handle, it was like a long rod, so the camera stayed horizontal and you swung it around. This is just hanging off a string, so it's literally just being flung all over the place. I'm so curious to see if this looks cool or not. It does look like you're going out fishing. <laughs> it's actually somewhat stable. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. So now I have it set to 4K 50, and I will chase you with the one wheel. All right, so let's see what kind of shots we can get like this. I'm a little dizzy after trying to catch it out. There is that extra step of after you record it, you have to go in and capture it. So it does essentially take double the amount of time to get a clip out of it. But what is really nice is when we're going around filming with it, you don't really have to worry about it. You just hit record. And when I was chasing you around, I can literally just place this thing wherever. I don't have to worry about what it's capturing or where it's pointed. I just go, I want the camera here. Or I want the camera higher. I don't have to worry so much about it or think about it. I just bring it up and I have a higher angle and I know that I'm gonna capture it. So for anyone interested in roller skating, you have a YouTube channel. Yeah, so I have a beginner series that takes you all the way through, like seriously, I just got my skates now wet, all the way through intermediate skills and advanced skills and then tricks and dance moves. That's awesome. So we'll throw that link in the description. 
But yeah, thanks so much for coming out and helping us. All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at this Insta360 One X2. Every time I shoot 360, it reminds me of how much fun it is to shoot 360. It's not the most professional footage in the world, but it's easy to do and you get really creative with it. Now, keep in mind that this is still a pre-production unit with beta version of the firmware, so things are not finalized yet. So I'm not gonna do an in-depth review on this, but I do kind of wanna talk about some of the features. Now, the very first question I had was how does it compare to my previous favorite 360 camera, which is this Insta360 One R. And the truth is, there's not one that's necessarily better than the other, they're just different. So if you went out, bought one of these One Rs, it's not necessarily like you have to go sell it and upgrade to this immediately. The biggest advantage of the One R is gonna be its modularity, of course. So, you know, you can do all kinds of things. You can reverse this display. You can swap out the lens, throw on a bigger battery if you want. It's kind of an all-in-one package, right? And it's also shaped smaller like an action camera. So it's gonna be a little bit easier to mount on something like a helmet when it's shaped like this, more like a blocky square, opposed to a skinny long Insta360 One. Is that why they call it the Insta360 One? It's because it's shaped like a one, I don't know. Spec wise, it's gonna be very similar to what the One R is capable in terms of frame rates and resolution in 360. The added benefit though, is that it does have a slightly higher bit rate. I believe they said this is 100 megabits per second, while the One R would shoot 90 megabits per second at the 5.7K. Now it may not be a huge difference, but if we look closely at the floor here, you could see that the One X2 is capturing a little bit more of that detail. So that's always nice, more bit rate, I'll take it. And this is actually a pretty good display. It might be kind of hard to tell on this video, but if you look at the displays, it looks so much clearer cleaner and crispier. I'm also kind of loving that this is a circular display. I feel like there's something really cool about a display that's round. Better display doesn't necessarily mean better images, but it definitely feels nicer when your interaction with the camera just feels good. You got your power button right here, record button right there. You got a USB-C port up here and also check out this battery, nice and big. It's 6.27 watt hour. So that was one of the bigger complaints about the original Insta360 One X was how short that battery life was. And the original Insta360 One X only had a display to show you the stats. It wasn't a colored full screen like this. And if you're coming from the original One X, two major upgrades. One, this is waterproof just like this. You can dunk it in the water, no problem. Next is workflow. So what's cool about this One X2 is it has a similar process as the One R where you can actually frame up your shot, figure out out what you wanna do with this shot while the file is still on your camera. And then instead of having to do a download and then a processing in two different stages, you just do it all in one. So I connect to the camera, I frame up my shot, I hit export, and it downloads my file onto the phone as it processes the image. So that saves a ton of time in the long run. I also like the AI tracking. I mean, here's a scene where it's just tracking our dog and it's pretty accurate. I don't really like using AI stuff too much because a lot of times Times it only works like 50% of the time, but this works pretty well, pretty consistently. So it's definitely usable. I love that. And they've definitely come a long way with the app as well. If you remember the original versions of the app, it wasn't really fun to use. It wasn't very intuitive. It was a little confusing, but now you can go ahead and hit some of these smart features and it'll automatically detect certain scenes and cut together certain effects for you. It's actually really fun. And some of the scenes may take a while to process, but the results are actually pretty impressive. Now, one thing I'm not a huge fan of you know that bullet time thing that's kind of a lanyard and we swung it around with Appaloosa. Now I would personally go for the original bullet time handle which actually comes right back here and you spin it around back here. That way this stays level instead of the lanyard where it's gonna kind of spin around like that. Wasn't a huge fan of that because this camera was constantly rotating and sometimes you can see that stitch line. So I prefer to just put that handle back here and rotate it that way. Oh and one last thing, this may not be as modular as the Insta360 One R but it is still pretty flexible because right now I am in 360 mode, but I can also switch it over. So now it's just getting 150 degrees and it only uses 
one lens. So you can essentially use this as an action camera. And right now I have it pointed that way, but I can go ahead and reverse it. So now it's facing me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start recording. And here's how the image out of this camera looks right here. And the stabilization out of these lenses is awesome because I did a full sprint with Sam the other day, chased him, and it comes out looking super stable. So even with the One X2, you can still get that action cam functionality. I do also want to test out the audio on this, but I know they're making some big changes in the upcoming firmware anyway, so don't want to get into that just yet. But first impressions, I think it's a pretty solid 360 camera. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this up by reading a few comments. I'm filming on the Insta360 One X2, monitoring it in my phone right now. We have the whole squad. We got Dylan and we have... Uh... Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm the Care Bear, Care Bear Sam. I care about you guys, and I want to give you a hug. Uh, no. Care Bear. I feel like the I feel like you guys are the judgmental bears. <laughs> I guess we'll hop into little planet mode and let's see what you guys are saying in the comments. Now the last video was all about the DJI Pocket 2. All the flies these days being bold as hell after watching the VP debate with Mike Pence. Yeah, I was trying to film that whole video and flies kept landing on my face. It's the most annoying thing ever. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> Feel the carry, Dylan. This Feel the me carry. Ever. Seems like it's hunting for focus a lot. Yeah, I was having focus issues, but it's very likely that that is a firmware thing. I'm very curious to see how the next version of the firmware. But that's kind of the tricky thing about trying to do these reviews with pre-production units, you know? You don't know if the issue you encounter is an actual problem or just a pre-production issue. So whenever I have a pre-production unit, they're always going to be just like, oh, look at the uh, features it has to offer, kind of like this video here. And I won't really do a full in-depth review until it's like everything's finalized. Maybe you got so many bugs because it's still an early version of the firmware. <laughs> Clever. That was pretty good. Dude, did you guys see the last video? I swallowed a fly. It was the oh, worst thing ever. Gross. And I eventually coughed it up. It was really gross. Uh, what? Check out the last video if you haven't. You guys don't watch my videos. You jerks. All right, that's it for this video. All right, hugs All right. everybody. No! no hugs! 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 <laughs>